you settling in all right? Huh? Who are you? What are you? Am I... Am I dead? Don't tell me you're surprised. You're overreacting. Well, what is this place? And who are you again? So many questions. But I'm not the one to answer them. I am to meet you and take you to the one who you should really ask. So why don't we set out on our journey? Keep it up. One step at a time. Don't mind what you see here. There's absolutely nothing to look at. This place looks familiar, eh? I've, I've never seen it before. Calling something familiar around these parts would be rather far-fetched. Mm, never mind. You'll remember soon. Come in and go upstairs. What will I find there? This lighthouse will lead you home. It's hard to explain. You'll know it when you get there. Don't rush it. What I like about this place is that there's absolutely no reason to hurry. Time means nothing here. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. How weird. This place seems... so familiar. I think I'm beginning to understand. How many times have I seen you? Too many to count, right? Do not linger. The master is waiting. He's been waiting for quite a while. He can wait some more. After all, time means nothing here. You said it yourself. At least somewhere it's true. You're right on this one. 
It's hard to disagree. In any case, keep it up. We're almost there. This place is dead. Not because it died, but because it never had a chance to live. It has its own charm, though. That's for sure. don't seem to be in a hurry. It's good to see you again. I bet you have a lot of questions. You're the master, I gather. Yeah, you're absolutely right. My memories about this place are starting to come back, but these are just random pieces. Sensations, even. Everything I see around myself should probably confuse me. Even the fact I'm hearing your voice, but don't see you. No. Not necessarily. You've seen everything countless times. And you've done everything you should. Well, almost everything. But we'll talk about this later. Now, you can ask your questions. Hmm, questions. I love them. Let's start with something simple. Who are you? <laughs> You call this a simple question? Well, I can offer you several answers. I am you. I am your death. I am your creator. I am your creation. Choose whichever you like best. They are all true. What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. If you expect me to look for a meaning when there's none, or get it out of you word by word, think again. Since it's you who wants something from me, would you be so kind as to say what it is? Ah, uh, you are right, of course. I'd better t Again, face to face. Speaking of which, your face fits this place perfectly, as I see. That's right. Since you already know you're dead, let's start with your birth. You see, we were together once. One body, with no name, no age, no beginning, and no end. But one day, something happened. Even I cannot explain it. Perhaps we got bored. What's important is that we decided to split. This is how you and I became to be. Keep talking. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're intrigued. Yes, we cease to be the absolute. Each of us had our own shortcomings and limitations. But, we also found new opportunities. In other words, we gained some features inherent only to each of us. I managed to create our first world. It was poor and wretched, but it was there. You lived your first life in. You even gathered some building blocks for it. I used these blocks to update the first version. I improved it making it more extensive and diverse. This building material is your life. Your every sigh and every impression. I collect them every time you come here. That's why you almost don't remember anything. That was our agreement. Wait, are you trying to say that all my life that I've lived, all the people I've loved, is no more than an illusion? 
Has my life been unreal? Unreal? As you know, the very concept of reality can exist only in the world we created. By the way, it was one of the biggest and strongest blocks you ever brought me to help with construction. Will it keep on living without us? Yes, it definitely will. Only, it doesn't really matter, since we are immortal, you know. So, does that mean I have to be reborn? That hasn't happened yet. So what's the problem? Ah, uh, yes. This is the tricky part. But I'm not ready to lay all my cards on the table just yet. I can only say that I don't collect all your memories. You know, some things you see, some impressions you get at some points in your life, make you change your very perception and understanding of it. So, as we agreed, I leave these to you. And before I ask the ultimate question, the question thanks to which we are here today, you must refresh these memories in your mind. I think I have no choice. Although I don't need it. Tell me what I have to do. There is a portal behind your back. Enter it. I'll be nearby. You won't see me, but you can hear me. I'll help you. What is this place? Hmm... Maybe you'll tell me. It's your life, after all. I'm not sure. I need to look around first. It. How interesting. So, what is it then? This is my childhood. This is how I imagine my pillow fort. The coziest place on earth. Every time I got in with a book in my hands, the rest of the world ceased to exist. At least when I was immersed into the world of a story unraveling before me. Ah, sounds fascinating. Yet another cozy corner in the world. I do. Only I imagined this place much later when I grew. The feelings are completely different, but the purpose is still the same. I've always been keen on good stories. I imagine myself to be a great traveler, an adventurer. Every time I did, I was one. I lived in those stories. I breathed them, and each time my imagination brought me here. 
Stories are your passion. That's the reason why you, not me, keep living these lives. Come on, keep up. You're almost there. I'll race you. Who was it? Who's that elusive ghost? Ah, that's your dream. Such a beautiful creature. Yeah, it is a dream. I know why we're here. It was then, in my childhood, while I had my head buried in all those books, when I felt the taste of fantasy. That's when each story I read unfolded into a whole new world. When you're engrossed in a good book while having a cup of freshly brewed coffee, it seems that time itself comes to a stop, don't you think? What fascinates me even more is that there were thousands of such stories. Don't be afraid. Do you remember how you and I used to sit on the swing when you were a child? Of course I remember. This was the place where all fantasies materialized. All it took was reach for my dream. Reach for you. This old oak still remembers all your adventures. Why don't you have a go on the swing as you used to? Look! Do you see it? It's right there in front of you. It's your palace. Your fortress. Yeah, I recognize it. I would stay here forever. I know you would, but I'm afraid it's not possible. Sorry, 